um, uh, I was talking with my wife the other day and I was telling her, I said, you know, I don't understand why the price of oxtails done went up. I remember when they ain't cost that much. And she was like, yeah, if you want that tender tail, you got to pay for it. And I said, yeah, I guess. So I, I headed on up to the grocery store. And when I got there, I went over to the meat department, I hollered at my friend behind the counter. And I was telling him about this conversation I had with my wife on how expensive oxtails done got. And you know, I ain't trying to do too much. And he was like, oh, you, you were trying to pay for some of that old tender tailbone, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, you could pay a little less for some of that old neck bone. That, that beef get tender too now. I said, do? He said, mm-hmm. I said, oh, man, I should try that. So I went on and picked up a couple of packs of beef neck bones, and I took it on back to the house, and I, I cleaned them off, and I put them in a bowl, and I seasoned it down with a little allspice, a little pollo wing seasoning, a little salt, a little pepper, and I, I put some browning seasoning in there. I give it a little oxtail flavor, and I put a little little beef broth in there, and I let that marinate for a bit. And I went and got me a Dutch oven pot, and I went on and put a little oil in there, and I laid those neck bones in there, and I let that get good and brown on both sides. And I went on and got me some beef broth, and I pulled that in to cover it up, and I got the rest of that marinade that I had. And I went on and put that in there, and I went and chopped up me some garlic, and I, I put that in there, and I got me some onions, and I put that up in there, and I got me a little tomato paste, and I put that up in there, and I stirred it up and made sure it was good and covered. I got me a lid, and I put it on top and let that cook for a couple of hours. Then I went and got me a head of cabbage. I said, man, this go well with some cabbage. So I went on and cut my cabbage up into little bite-sized pieces, and I went and got me a pot of water, and I put that on, and I seasoned that water with a little garlic salt, and I went and got me some butter, and I went ahead and put me some pepper in there, and I went on ahead and grabbed my cabbage, and I, I put it right there in that seasoned water, and I put it right above the water line, because I, I like my cabbage with a little bite to it, not too mushy, so I stirred it up with my spoon and put my lid on and let that sit for a bit, and I went on ahead and checked in on my, my beef neck bones, and oh man, they looking good and smelling good, got me thinking I'm about to eat me some oxtails, but I'm ready to eat now, so I went on ahead and checked on my cabbage, and I went and grabbed me a plate, and I went on ahead and made me some rice, so I put me some rice on my plate, and I went and got that tender neck bone, and I put it right there over the top, and I pulled in some of that gravy right over the top, and man, I went and got some of those cabbages, scooted right next to it, and I got my fork, and I started digging in, because I was talking to my friend over in the meat department. He was like, you were trying to pay for some of that old tender tailbone, huh? Mm -hmm. You know you could pay a little less for some of that old neck bone. That beef get tender too now. Mm-hmm. Mama, she ain't paying me no never mind. Mama, he ain't paying me no never mind. Mama, they ain't paying me no never mind.